Chairman Burkle. Uh, Chairman Wolf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to again thank you and, uh, and Mr. Payne for the here hearing. Uh, fundamentally, uh, before you say that, is there anybody here from the government, our government at all, AID, State Department, anybody? Just raise your hand. You don't have to just Anybody here from the UN? Wow. Anybody here from the Sudan government, the embassy? This is a fundamentally evil government. They are evil, as Ronald Reagan said with regard to 1983, they're fundamentally evil, evil. And until you remove Bashir, this will continue. This will continue. It will not change. How long will the West pretend it, it, it will, it will, it will continue. China welcomed Bashir. They gave it a red carpet. I have the picture. Red carpet. When every American businessman goes to China to meet with Hu Xintao, you're meeting with a guy who has blood on his hands. The largest embassy in Khartoum is the Chinese embassy. They're all over the place. And President Bush offered them and said there would be anti-aircraft material on this administration, never sent it. You take one of those Antonovs out of the sky and it will change the dynamics and yet these people are being chewed up and chewed up and chewed up. The UN has failed. The UN failed in Rwanda. The UN failed in Bosnia. The UN failed in Darfur. They stood by and allowed 400,000 people to die. Read Samantha Power's book. Kofi Annan watched what was taking place in, in Rwanda. President Clinton felt so bad about it before he left, he went to Rwanda to apologize because the State Department was watching. What is taking place here took place in Rwanda and Secretary Christopher allowed it to take place, and nobody did anything. Read Samantha Power's book. China's the problem. You have to remove Bashir. You have to remove Bashir. He has to be removed. Government change, regime change. There's no other way. It's been going on for 21 years. 2.1 million people, mainly Christians, but some Muslim and Arabs killed in a North-South battle. 200 to 400,000 killed in Darfur. He just said the UN and I heard too were turning people over to be taken away. That sounds like the Nazis to me. That sounds like something out of a, out of a bad movie. The UN has failed. These are war criminals. They're war criminals. That's it. It's over. They're war criminals. I don't think anybody connected to this government ought to be permitted to visit the United States, period. We should close their embassy down and force them out. If you're working, I mean, when, uh, Libya? Libya is a problem because of Gaddafi. Syria is a problem because of Bas Bashir. Compared to this, uh, because of uh, uh, the president, Assad Bashir, this guy's much worse. And to meet with them, it's incredible. They should be expelled. They should be expelled from our country. And Britain, Fran if this was happening in southern France or southern Germany, this place would be electrified. It would be wild. But it's happening in a, in a country, and it's racial, too. I mean, do not deny that it is racial. It is racial and it is religious. And the world is standing by and allowing this to take, take place. The UN has failed and they're failing. And I just don't want my country to fail. This administration better get some, get some, get some energy. Princeton Lyman should step up or step down. I like Princeton Lyman, but he should step up or step down. These people are going to be killed, and for this to take place, and no one from, from Khartoum, the Khartoum government, 
should be permitted to go in. If they want to get an, an operation, let them get it in Khartoum. If they want to educate their kids, let them educate them at Khartoum. They, no one connected to this government should be permitted to visit the West at all. And I will do anything, and I appreciate it again. God bless Mr. Smith and Mr. Payne and Ms. Burkle for being here, 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 here too. Uh, these are evil people. It's an evil government. I mean, to sit in a hearing and talk about how maybe the UN could have done something, and I know it didn't exist then, to kind of get Hitler out. I mean, he was an evil man. This guy's an evil man. It's an evil government. Regime change. But it's time for our government to do something about it. We're not talking about troops. We're not talking about, we're talking about just give them the ability. Are the tanks that the southern Sudanese government has tried to bring in, where are those tanks now? They're still in Kenya. They haven't even allowed them to come in to defend themselves. I, uh, I want to thank both of the witnesses. I appreciate this thing. Uh, we should send a message to the people of the south, the people of Kordofan, the people of the Nuba Mountains. Uh, you know, the Nuba Mountains and Kush, the kingdom of Kush is mentioned in the Bible. It goes all the way back to biblical times. And I just wonder how some people in this administration will feel when they leave and they know miss the opportunity. How Ban Ki-moon will feel knowing he's sitting there doing nothing. And how they'll feel when somebody writes the book about this. It's an evil government. The regime change should be taken place. Bashir should be arrested and taken to The Hague and tried. And again, I want to thank... Uh, uh, Mr. Smith and Mr. Payne for really being the leaders on this, and Ms. Burkle for being it, for getting out in front and kind of speaking, speaking, speaking truth, and thank both of the witnesses for their time.